It's a pleasure. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I saw your play here with Oasis a couple of years ago, a few years ago, a while ago. It might have been six or seven years ago, I think. Yeah, maybe yeah. eight years ago. Any memories of the place, of the gig? No, <laughs> afraid not. Yeah. I always used to like going on tour anyway. I like the tour and I like interviews and all that kind of thing. It was just that other people used to make it quite difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but no, it's all good. I'm enjoying okay. it. You played in uh, Switzerland uh, last, last night, night, I yeah. think. How was Zurich? It was nice. Nice weather, nice crowd, nice venue, nice hotel. It was all good. I bought a guitar in a shop. You bought a guitar, like, sort of on the spot? Or yeah, you... yeah, I, yeah, I just found a guitar shop and bought a guitar and some fax pedals. How many guitars do you own, actually? No idea. Even when I was buying it, I was thinking, I don't really want this guitar. Before uh, Switzerland, you played in Australia. Yes. Australia was great. I like that place. It's, uh, it's a crazy place, but I do, I've got a lot of affection for it. And, uh, yeah, the gigs were great. I really do look forward to going there because it's, it's so far away from uh, where, you, where, where we're from that it's, um, well, it's a strange crowd. You know, in, uh, where I play in Europe, you kind of see it's mostly young people. And in America... It's uh, slightly older people. But in Australia, you'll get like, you know, four teenage girls in a row and then two real old people and then some more. It's a, quite a mixed crowd. They have great chocolate over there. I don't know whether you know this. So I do spend most of my time eating chocolate. <laughs> do you consider yourself a lucky guy? Like how things turned out for you in life? I have two ongoing trains of thought. One is, as you say, wow, a lucky guy. And, and then equally, I think sometimes, well, I did, I did write the songs. No, it wasn't luck that wrote those songs, you know what I mean? It was kind of some kind of perseverance when I was a young child that made me want it. So I'd say 50% of me feels lucky and 50, the other 50% of me feels worthy, you know. So I kind of judge between the two. But I'm a lucky man to have married my wife, that's for sure. Now, for that, I do think I'm quite lucky. But for the music and the lifestyle and all that, I didn't have to work at it, you know, I didn't, it wasn't given to me. The voice of the working class is, is I mean, it's still there, but it's not, it's not at the top of the charts. It's not even in the charts, you know what I mean? So, which is why, um, it, why it's important for me to keep going, do you know what I mean? And, and to um, point it out from time to time. A new album later this year? I think I'm, ha I'm halfway through. In the best case scenario, if I could get it finished by the end of the year, it might come out this time next year. But I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. 